Listen to the sound of the sun and the stars. Sound picked up from outer space by radio telescope for some earthly usage still unknown. Challenge. The mystery of the great unknown is being explored unendingly by American engineers hoping to find practical application for improvements in all of our lives and ways. With each new challenge always the call goes out, Help Wanted. Help Wanted. Forward-looking men and women, eager in outlook, with vision, perspective, honest point of view to see the challenge of our times. Men and women boldly imaginative, of character, of penetrating curiosity, and of barrier-breaking courage to engineer the freedoms of American future. But what makes an engineer? Mathematical mind, college degree, flair for tinkering, curiosity, state license to practice the profession, scientific aptitude to solve practical problems? Yes, all this, and the one certain spirited characteristic of the human heart, courage to accept constant challenge, the challenge to solve problems which perplex, challenge to change the world into a better place. Challenge makes an engineer. Rushing water was once just a sound, a waste of turbulent energy until its challenge was transformed into a source of hydroelectric power. Once only waters in motion, until engineers challenged their currents to make them bearers of burdens and movers of men to lead the way to progress. Each progressive achievement is the work of inspired individuals with the constructive capacity to join the efforts of all for the good of all. Meeting the constant human challenge to give all of us what we need and want and produce for people at a price each person can pay. Accepting these challenges of human desire, the engineer who knows what is wanted leads the way for the men who know how to build it to accommodate our constantly increasing population. The American engineer is a leader who has blueprinted the skylines of modern progress to the highest standard of living in the history of the world. Cities structured of metals and stones and timbers and glass, of fibers and of plastics for homes and stores and factories. Every American city speeds ahead with the blessing of inventions, 
of mass production and construction made possible by the ingenuity of American engineers. The resources of the nation and the requirements of its people are a challenge to every engineer. Metallurgical, mechanical, electrical, chemical, civil, mining, and all the other engineers working together to build the industry of the United States of America. Engineers prospecting for black gold to keep all the machinery of modern life well-oiled and powered for high-speed operation, to color our fibers and flavor our food with derricks, with high-powered microscopes, torsion, balance, seismograph, even looking for minerals under the ocean floor. once crawled over the earth crust with donkey, pan, and compass to chip out pieces with pick and shovel. The modern mining engineer comes up with the raw materials of civilization, metals or non-metallics, petroleum, natural gas, sand or coal, salt or diamonds, and all the ores from iron to uranium. To click with a Geiger or scintillation counter, you don't have to be an engineer, for an engineer already has designed the tools you need. But to get any natural resource out of the ground and into modern use, you need a mining engineer around for the engineered control of explosive energy. For the engineering of conveyance, of weightlifting machines and transport methods. Many kinds of engineers are required for every phase of the collective process. The chemical engineer is himself a catalytic agent, changing the very composition of matter to make more and more conveniences and luxuries in the continuing creation of a scientific world out of natural resources and modern resourcefulness. And there seems to be no limit to the number of wonders still to be discovered in creative chemistry. The research engineer is an explorer who advances civilization, an adventurer in ingenuity, seeking the impartial answer, learning the laws of the universe, and then putting them to work. Each discovery in any special field of engineering advances all engineers and fulfills the human destiny of which they and we and our world are a part with a purpose to perform toward perfection. The cyclotron, atom smasher, challenging the smallest particle of matter, splitting it apart at the speed of light, creating a cosmic cloud with a silver lining of new knowledge revealed to mankind. To put together its power for power and its power for peace, engineered energy to pierce the atom as more atomic energy power plants are engineered to generate unlimited electrical power.
Civil engineering is a field of structural challenge. The uniqueness of a site is an engineering opportunity. Material difference of stone, steel, glass and wood are to be respected. Handled for what they are, to make whatever contribution to the construction each can and each will. Each in its one way, each to sing and shine for itself. The civil engineer believes nature and architecture should live together in structural harmony. Under the architect's hand and the engineer's planning, given the use and the users, given the site and the materials, a building rises like a symphonic chord to stand secure as yet another accolade to engineering. The electrical engineer, who expertly switches night into day, is playing an increasingly important part in the productivity of people and in lighting up the way for America at play. Entertaining, illuminating, electrical window to the world. Electrical engineers are now exploring the entire spectrum of science for new developments to delight us with mass production and make possible price reduction. Telephone TV, with callers able to see as well as hear, may soon be a recognized reality. Born of the man-guided calculations of the super-electronic brains, entire new industries are flashing into being. Mechanisms are now mass reproducing themselves on assembly lines guided by coded messages, which automatically direct electrical circuits. Each enterprising achievement brings wonderfully new ways of life at our fingertips. To keep pace with the challenge, each field of engineering inspires every other. Engineers are constantly moving forward. Goal, atomic powered submarines to circle the globe, submerged at high speed without refueling or surfacing. Progress achieved. Jet-powered transport planes to span the nation in an hour. Progress proved possible. The world's fastest ocean liner Progress, the SS United States, a skyscraper afloat. The transportation engineer delivers the way and the ways of new transportation for our freedom of movement and freedom to travel. Highway engineer provides roads progressively engineered for ever safer, ever faster, free movement of cargoes and people.
Highways, freeways, expressways. Under, over, and across. The bridge builder wants to make his way where there is no road. So he builds one through the air. Highways in the sky. And the thoroughfare from ridge to ridge is called a bridge. The ways, the means, freedom of movement for all, symbol of democracy. And behind it all, engineers from every branch of engineering answering one of their greatest challenges. The democratic challenge to plan for one million, for two million, for three million, with all the character, quality, and integrity of the engineered and finalized one at a price all people can pay. The plant engineer calls on scores upon scores of engineering talents with specialized experiences to design the machines of mass manufacture, to arrange the machines for continuous flow, and to pattern the plants to house the flow of conveniences and necessities to our homes and to all the activities in which our workdays engage us. Better ways to give even better quality for less money. Engineering the machines to stamp and mold and broach and drill. Machines to convert raw steel into designed steel in continuous motion, rolling, welding, forming, bending, fabricating. Engineering to provide machine tools of precision. And then engineering instruments of precision to check the precision. Engineering to make machines of balance so power may be harnessed. Engineering the handling of parts of assemblies and of components to speed the flow and to ease the labor of lifting and carrying. Engineering to cut down the stress and strain. the flow, 
watching to keep the machine energy alive to supply the power to manufacture in desired volume. Creators breathing life into the lifeless, into steel and bronze, and into all their minglings, into rubber, plastics, wood, and fuel and air. The challenge to deliver the greatest dependability with the utmost in performance and in high compression economy. Engineers, men of energy, masters of dynamics in all the varieties of power. Power geared from power plant to driving wheel. Energy conserved with roller and ball. All shapes, all sizes. Multiplying force through lever for the greatest steering safety. Storing energy in springs. Rotating energy for all the arteries that engineers design to feed the vital parts. Electric energy generated by a portable powerhouse only a hand's breadth high. With wireless wire to feed the spark that fires the flame. Through wireless cable, static free. To signal turns. To fetch a selected tune. To light the night safely. Men with the courage to create, knowing that each successful creation itself becomes a call for further improvement. The challenging question raised by each new material, will it be stronger, will it be safer, will it be better, will it be more economical? What can we now do with the new that we never could do with the old? The challenges of the metallurgical engineer, which result in further engineering for durability in pistons, bearings, and crankshafts, in long-life valves and other moving parts. Thousands upon thousands of new materials, each to be challenged, each to be checked out and checked in for the qualities which might make one part better. For by bettering each part, the whole can be bettered as never before. The challenge to eliminate, to simplify, to replace gearing energy with gliding power and power steering at a lower price. Vitalizing oil engineered into mastery of motion, gently starting tonnage rolling, rapidly accelerating to the height of speed, always ready for all emergencies, using the smoothing power of oil to make quick stops with the soft ease of well-engineered control, using the quieting power of hydraulic valve lifters to hush the valves, while passing the challenge to the styling engineers to cover the mechanical metallics with taste and charm. A challenge to express in line and mass and form and curve in the safety of steel upon steel. And then to clothe the skin with nature's rainbow hues, to keep ahead of style trends, yet not ahead of public acceptance. Personalized and with accessories engineered to our personalized taste for convenience, for comfort, for convenience and safety, with protection from rain, blocking out the wintry gale, with comforting warmth, to hold out the searing heat with cooling comfort. Engineers creating to meet the challenge, and then daring to challenge their own creations by test. Tested, proved, finalized.
approved to sound the clarion, the call of a new challenge, to multiply conveniences for the many, finalizing the collaborative efforts of all the engineers according to the public's own individual taste. To see the USA is to marvel at the works of the American engineer. The most challenging engineering project in the history of the human race is our nation, a light with the brilliance of our engineers' accomplishments. All across the USA, in our travels, in our work, at home and at play, we enjoy the wonderful new achievements of American engineers who are even now blueprinting the way ahead to ever higher standards of living for all. in the building of America and its grandeur are united in a heroic tribute to the millions of engineers who have conceived and designed and helped develop our way of life. Thanks to the American engineer. Yes. Thanks to the American engineer. until its challenge was transformed into a source of hydroelectric power. Once only waters in motion, until engineers challenged their currents to make them bearers of burdens and movers of men to lead the way to progress. Each progressive achievement is the work of inspired individuals with the constructed makes an engineer. Mathematical mind, college degree, flair for tinkering, curiosity, state license to practice the profession, scientific aptitude to solve practical problems. Yes, all this, and the one certain spirited characteristic of the human heart, courage to accept constant challenge, the challenge to solve problems which perplex Challenge to change the world into a better place. Challenge makes an engineer. The roar of rushing water was once just a sound. A waste of turbulent energy.
listen to the sound of the sun and the stars. Sound picked up from outer space by radio telescope for some earthly usage still unknown. With capacity to join the efforts of all for the good of all. Meeting the constant human challenge to give all of us what we need and want and produce for people at a price each person can pay. Accepting these challenges of human desire, the engineer who knows what is wanted leads the way for the men who know how to build it to accommodate our constantly increasing population. The American engineer is a leader who has challenge. The mystery of the great unknown is being explored unendingly by American engineers hoping to find practical application for improvements in all of our lives and ways. With each new challenge always the call goes out, help wanted. Help wanted, forward-looking men and women, eager in outlook, with vision, perspective, honest point of view, to see the challenge of our times. Men and women boldly imaginative, of character, of penetrating curiosity, and of barrier-breaking courage to engineer the freedoms of American future. But what